Lucky is the correct word. Makes sense since it happened on St. Patrick's Day. All right, now it's time to spin the wheel and to see who gets the prize. Gabe Davis, the world champion of NC. All right, NC, it's time to guess again. As you can see, this time it's a six-letter word, so hopefully things are going to be a bit trickier. All righty. My guess is going to have to be braces. This is perfect. Plug me in. All right, all right. Ooh. There's an R and S in the word, but neither of them are in the right spot. Hikers. Oh, fast one. Okay, D. Combs. All right. We have I, R, and S, but none of them are in the right spot. Think you can figure it out, NC? Good, Good morning, morning, Northern Cambria. Cambria. Students who have signed up to donate blood on March 28th, please turn in permission slips to Kenny Minnemeyer or Mrs. Hudak by Friday, March 25th. Reading team. The spring reading team competition will be held on April 7th. Please have all books read before this date. Stop in room 301 to pick up permission slips slash health forms. Interested in a job? The Northern Cambria Recreation Committee is looking for any graduating senior that is 18 years or older for a field manager position. If you are interested, please see Mr. Starch in the counselor's office. Those interested in getting prom clothing from the Johnstown Cinderella Project, try-ons have been rescheduled to March 26th. The softball spirit cell orders are due March 25th. Congratulations to the middle school students of the month for March. 5th grade Avery Schutte, 6th grade Logan Rouse, 7th grade Ashley Lockard, and 8th grade Keita De Rosa. A big congratulations to Lauren Donatelli for correctly guessing the people in these photos. Now it's time to reveal the answer. The teachers in these photos are... <laughs> Mr. Perk and Mrs. Scalise. The Beetlejuice shirt should have given away. You right, you right. <laughs> Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 56. Today for lunch, we're going to have boneless wings, crinkle cut fries, and applesauce. Emily Trees has been a member of the choir for seven years. During her free time, she enjoys hanging out with friends and family, going on walks to find waterfalls, going on four-wheel rides, playing video games, listening to music, photography, and writing. Her future planned are to attend the Army or become a manager. At her current job, currently she works at Giant Eagle. This year, she received an academic achievement for the Challenge Program, and last year she received the Creative Writing Achievement Award. Starbucks is planning to do away with its iconic disposable cups and wants customers to bring your own mug and borrow one from the store by 2025. <coughs> what? You. Rather. rather. This is our new segment of Would You Rather. Fellow guest here, Evan Wara. Right, That's right. <laughs> alright, alright. All right. Evan, Evan, Evan. Would you rather be Batman or Spider-Man? I'm gonna go with Spider-Man. Why? Alright, alright, Spider-Man. Would you rather make a phone call or send a text? Uh, phone call. Why? Uh, it's just easier. <laughs> no. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? I'm gonna go with the ocean. Why? Why? I like fish. <laughs> you like fish? I like fish. <laughs> I can tell. Alright, go ahead. Would you rather be too busy or be bored? Too busy. Why? Because I like doing stuff. <laughs> okay. Valid. Alright, catcher. Would you rather have unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay at food for at food? At, <laughs> would you have never. Would you. Would you rather have unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay for food at restaurants? Never have to pay for food at restaurants. Why? I, I really like Why? food. Why? It's really good. Why? It's really tasty. All right. <laughs> and Would more. you rather? What day is the most common birthday? November 5th, September 9th, July 10th, or January 27th? The correct answer is B, September 9th. Hello, NC. The word of the day is equation. An equation is a statement that the values of two mathematical expressions are equal, indicated by the sign. This is different from an expression. 
in an expression, there is no equal sign. For example, 2x plus b is equal to 14. This is an equation, whereas 2x plus b is an expression. If there is no equal sign, it cannot be an equation. That's your daily news. Have a nice day.